The Phoenix Theatre is gearing up for another series of free Shakespeare in Deering Oaks Park. Tom talked with Bryant Mason, the director of this year's production of Macbeth. Bryant, thanks for joining us here. My pleasure. My pleasure. Uh, you're with uh, Phoenix Theatre and you're opening a play this week, Macbeth, yes, for the summer. Yes, we are. We're doing Macbeth this summer, our first tragedy. Uh, very excited about it. Uh, we're gonna, our opening performance is actually going to be on Thursday up at uh, Bowdoin College. Uh, and we're going to be performing every Thursday up there on their campus and in Deering Oaks every Friday and Saturday. So Before we get too much into the play, for people who don't know what Phoenix Theatre is, can you just describe it a little bit? Uh, we're a free outdoor uh, classical theater company bringing uh, free classical theater to the community of Portland and Southern Maine. Uh, Rob and I started the company five years ago now. That's well. Uh, <laughs> And uh, we started with a uh, production of Two Gentlemen of Verona. Uh, it was very well received and embraced by the community. I feel like uh, every year we've been growing and getting a little bit, uh, getting to know Portland better, getting to know the, uh, getting the audience. You know, we're seeing some people coming back year after year, which is really nice. Your audience says it's been growing, I hear. It has been growing, yeah. We usually are growing probably at about, probably about 2% every year, which is a, a pretty good rate of growth wow. for a theater company. Yeah, and so uh, what, what made you decide, that you and Rob, to decide to create a free theater company? We worked together in New York, uh, from, did a couple shows uh, up on the Upper West Side. Uh, we did uh, Much Ado About Nothing, and we also did The Two Gentlemen of Verona. Um, so we were doing some free Shakespeare uh, in New York anyway, and then when he moved here um, to start a family with Daniela, he, you know, we came up here and had a couple beers, and <laughs> I came up to visit, and, uh, well, we started the company, and Rob and I are moving forward with Phoenix with a whole cadre of really fun individuals. So. Yeah, so, so you just enjoyed doing it in New York and decided to transplant it here? Yep, and, exactly. And uh, when Rob moved up here, we wanted to keep it going. I still lived in New York City at the time and uh, moved up here uh, a little over a year ago with my wife uh, and so now I'm here full-time uh, as part of Phoenix. So you do Shakespeare, there's obviously no royalties for that. You Correct. don't have a set, it's in the park, it's yep. a nice setting already. But your actors, where do you get draw on uh, them from? We use uh, local actors. Um, we find the best local actors we can, uh, we can get our hands on. Well, we have auditions every you know, summer going in. Um, and by now we've developed a large community of actors who we've worked with multiple times. Some are able to come back and do another show with us. Sometimes they're not, you know, for various reasons. But uh, we want to be very inclusive to the uh, Portland artist uh, community, uh, sort of a place that anyone can feel comfortable uh, either coming to see the show or working um, with us. We really want to support the local uh, talent that's here in Portland because there is quite a bit of it actually. We have, uh, we've expanded a little bit. We have one guy coming in from Lewiston uh, as well, but we're sort of like all over the southern Maine uh, actor base. Anyone we can find is who we want to use. And, and so, you know, sometimes people who do Shakespeare, they take a little bit of a slant on it or whatever. What's, what's uh, the deal with Macbeth? I mean, how are you producing that? Um, for us, we're always, we always are going to do, well, always, we always have and we probably will continue this way. Uh, is we want to present a contemporary context for the classical play that mm -hmm. helps a modern audience um, have a better frame of reference for approaching these uh, these old stories. Um, so, for example, like with Macbeth, uh, we're obviously not doing in kilts and broadswords, no, <laughs> no, no Scottish accents or uh, anything like that. Uh, we're setting it. Uh, I'm taking a more psychological, spiritual um, take on it, where it's as if the whole play is either it's happening in Macbeth's head or that it's his um, punishment for committing these acts to be forced to relive the events again and again and again, kind of his own um, little personal inferno. Uh, with uh, It's going to be mostly, uh, we're looking at the color palette is going to be white, basically straight white, uh, which will look beautiful in the park, really, really pop. Um, very minimal sets, uh, very, no set, uh, very minimal props. Uh, we try to keep it very simple and make it just about the, the words and the story. Uh, we do and take some acting. license with cutting of the play, but, yeah. but within, that con within that framework, uh, we, we try to make it all about the play. Yeah, know? yeah, and, and, and the acting. I mean, obviously, that's what's accentuated that's when you don't have any sets or... Exactly. We make problem. it about the words and about the acting and about the choices and make it uh, interesting and helpfully make it compelling and clear uh, and really, uh, for this one, distill Macbeth to uh, very pure essence. It, so, it sounds like anybody that's seen Macbeth before would really actually enjoy this as a, from another perspective of seeing it. I hope so. Story. I hope so. Yeah. It's, a, it's a play that's done a lot and it's a wonderful, wonderful piece of work and very many layers to it and uh, we're trying to keep a lot of that while still uh, streamlining it and focusing it uh, for a very sharp 
kind of production. Do you have a website if people want we more We do. It's uh, phoenixtheater.com, uh, F-E-N-I-X, uh, old English uh, spelling, and theater uh, R-E. So. All right, phoenixtheater.com. Well, Brian, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure.